Hello Cycle Cart folks, thought I'd do a fun video um, related to a game called Forza. I have my son Nick here, who is uh, a gaming guy. So we're going to show you a few, uh, a few cycle carts, quote unquote, like inspiration cars, that appear on the Forza, this is what, Forza which? Four. Forza Four. Take us to the Vulture. We have the... There's a Model T back there too, isn't it? <clears throat> Mercedes W154. Yes. Look at that. 59. And it's got the 59 painted on it. Look at that. The 59 is on there. That's amazing. Okay, I'm going to drive the Vulture for a little bit, okay? Is it good? Okay, can we turn the radio off? Uh, yeah. Sweet. You don't need the radio. You just listen to the sound of the Vulture. Fair enough. Whoa! And it handles about like the old car does too. Because it it's very twitchy and it's got thin tires and lots of power. Have I? Yeah, no, you haven't. You don't have a destination set. This is great fun. I could be on this game literally, if I didn't have other things to do with my life, I could be on this game for hours. Just driving around the Vulture? Just driving around the Vulture. This, is, this would be like what I would love to do. I like racing this too, it's fun. You put new tires on it, didn't you? No, I didn't. You're, you sure? I'm sure. I, I haven't modded it. I don't think I've modded it. Okay, I think these look like wide tires. But it looks great. The the 59 is really authentic and awesome. We drifted out a bit onto the road. Oh, we're on a paved road now. Now we're really going to get cooking. Next, what are we driving next? The Bugatti? So how long do you think before our viewers get bored of watching me race around? Um, Probably actually pretty long. Yeah, you think they'll like it? I think, I think some people Oh, are. oh my goodness. Oh no, I'm into the... Because your viewers aren't children. <laughs> Usually not, yeah. Except for me. Um, views get changed with Y. Cool, so you can actually change it so you can see... Any way you want. From the drive... This is my favorite because it's totally driver's point of view. Mm -hmm. You don't see the car, obviously, but you no, do you see the... you can see the mirrors. You see the mirrors and they work. Just like on the Vulture. This is the most authentic. Like this is like you're actually driving the car. Mm -hmm. So much lower than everyone else. Whoa! Come into a brick wall again. I hope I don't drive like this when I get into the actual vulture. If you get into the actual vulture, you're not going as fast. That's true. And you have a better feel of the car. That's definitely true. What's actually happening in real life? You have a much better feel. Oh! Oh, that hurt. Okay, let's show the viewers some of the other cars. Okay, I need to buy them. So okay. I need to buy some of them, so I'm gonna quick tell. I would probably go for, yeah, this one. That, that one's insane. Do you have any tuner on it? Hold on. You have this kind of money? At, yeah, I have 11 million. Ooh, you're a rich guy. Hmm. Get it? Oh, yes. We got it. Let's I do bought it out, so let's we can drive it for a bit. Collect car. Let's get this. <coughs> That's cool. And you're good to go. That looks great. So I can get in and drive it now? Oh, I'm in it. There it is. This one's even harder to control as far as I'm concerned. Probably. Let's get it on the road here somewhere. The open road? You're going to have a right. A right here? Yeah. I find early shifting with these cars works better too because you don't the rear end doesn't slip as much. Let's go for a speed camera run. Oh, speed you're supposed to drift as much as possible. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. I'm not drifting. Wow. Hey, it you just got wants to be points. everywhere. My goodness. Feel straight. You have arrived at your destination. <laughs> You've arrived at your destination. You're in the bush. <laughs> you failed the drift zone. I did. Huge. This is a. Oh, get it on here. All right. All right. Do it up. Walk. Nick in the driver's seat of the. I need to pull up more. Auto Union. Ooh. Oh, well done. That was nice. I've got skills now. Get out of the way. Out of the way, car. Uh, much better than I have. Oh, 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 
Oh, you almost had that one. Man, that was close. I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna try J turn. Okay. No, sorry. I'm gonna try 360. J turns. You could, you could do forward. donuts like crazy in this open field. If you want. J turn. Let's see it. Not a J turn. I'm gonna do 360. Oh, okay. Do a 360. Nicely done. I almost had it. <laughs> that was pretty good. Oh, like we're on mud kickers, yay! It's like a basically a port playground. Nice. Looks like a great place. You know what this would be perfect for? <laughs> See that? Oh. It's a question I ask a lot. You know what this place would be perfect for? And then everybody in my family rolls their eyes before I say cycle cart. <laughs> oh, I missed the jump. Uh oh. But anyways. Oh, and he's in the valley. Oh yeah, underwater. The Type D was famous for its underwater ability. Mm -hmm. Very funny. Give it a heck. Pretty sure I flipped this car going over the jump at the castle. Or not this car, I flipped the W15. Woohoo! I went, yay, 54 meters. New personal best. Alright. Nice. Sweet. Okay, you want to find a Bugatti? Yeah, yeah. Bugatti. What's it? Is it T35? 35, I think. Yeah, yeah, Type 35. Unmodified. That's an original. Yeah. Three million bucks. That's starting to dent your your. I don't wealth. know if I want to get that. Uh, <laughs> anyway, there's a Bugatti. But it's too expensive for us to buy. And so we can't drive it. No. Well, what about if you sold the Auto Union? You'd I get still most will, of it I'll back. I'll get one million. So you'd, have to, you'd be out a million bucks. Yeah. I think Larry Phillips has his based on a pickup truck version of this. Yeah. Flat out. Yeah, see what you can get for a top speed. Driving the Ford. This is not a Model T though, it's a 32. No. Coupe. Model T is... Oh, it's only three gears. Yeah, there you go. Top gear, 130 kilometers an hour. 131, 132, 133, 134, You're going down, downhill slightly, downhill. let's face it. But we're getting it up That's to good great. speed, 143. It's even fun to watch other people play this game. Mm -hmm. That's what makes it kind of cool. Right there, you know what would be a really amazing but an adventure that would take forever in a cycle car? Yeah. Driving every unpaved road in your province or state. I think that would take about a lifetime. You would be you would be into years of cycle karting. Try that. I'll try a 360. At, especially at the top speed. Every car I drive, I have to do a 360. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna pull it right here. This is where the Goliath starts. Yeah. Alright, 360. Here we go. All the way around. All the way around. Yes! Well done. That's pretty good. I just was in first gear. Oh, <laughs> right, the pit you. maneuver. Out of the way, thank you very much. Jeez. You're a menace. I know. Mm. Let me get you back to the Goliath. Goliath. Sounds good. There's a, there's a guy. Oh, yeah. How do you like this car to drive? I like it. It's not bad, eh? I think it's a little easier to handle than the Auto Union. Mm -hmm. Feels better. I think the real one definitely feels better to drive. Like the one I've actually been in. Which? Vulture. The vulture, the vulture, in my opinion, is better to drive. It's more fun. Okay. Boom! Get out the way! Oh yeah, you've driven the vulture before. I have. Yeah. Let's stop and enter. All right. Look! Look what's on the cover of the car type. Oh yeah. Vintage racers. Vintage racers. We're gonna probably see a Bugatti and maybe some Ferraris too. Yeah. There's gonna be another one of yours. There's probably gonna be an Auto Union. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Can you name all the cars as we go by them? I'll try. It looks like an Austin or an Aston. An Austin or an Aston. That's an Alpha. That's an Alpha, yeah. Uh, that's another There's one with only one five four. Yeah. Whoa. I'm pretty sure that's an Austin. I'm doing right foot braking here, by the way. Okay. I don't think you should. Yeah, you don't like that, do you? Whoa. Okay, and that's That was a two. Bentley, I think. Oh, those must both be Bentley stuff. Because that's the exact same as the one that crashed in front of you before. So uh -huh. I think that's three different Bentleys. A couple of Bentleys. 
<clears throat> I got lots of time to pass these guys, so there's no need to do any crazy stuff. No funny business. No funny business, exactly. Boom! And a light pole. You can hit the occasional light pole, it's okay. Yeah. It gives you XP, game. actually. XP? What's that? It gives you points for hitting a light pole. Does it? I think it gives you a thousand points. I'm pretty sure I've gotten like 50 million in my career. In my career. In your whole driving career. Mm -hmm. Must be a long career since you're only 12. Well, it's not an easy car to drive, I'll tell you, okay? You have to be here to try it. Many of you must be thinking, oh, you're terrible. What an awful driver you are. And I guess that's kind of true. I'm not. I'm certainly not a pro. But it's very hard to drive. But this is a car that's very difficult to control. Oh, I'd be all over the, I'd be all over it like a, like white on rice. Like a Mondial cheap, is easy. like a cheap suit in August. What? Never heard that one before? No. It'll be all over you like a cheap suit in August. Because a cheap suit doesn't feel good. It feels like it's hanging all over you, especially when it's hot. It just feels like this thing that's weighing you down. Alright, now we're at the seaside. Now we get quick. Now I could, now if, I, if I can find some talent, I might be able to actually make up some time on these guys. Like even when you let off the gas, it's almost like you're hitting the rear brake because it just starts to slide sideways. Yeah. It's amazing. Sort of makes you appreciate, whoops, light pole, bus stop. Sort of makes you appreciate the advances made in the 50s even mm -hmm. in car design and how they handled. I'm surprised more guys didn't die driving these things. Mm -hmm. Because they're an absolute First of all, they're hugely powerful. I don't think a F1 car was as powerful as this car until like the mid 60s or something like that. Like just amazing stuff. I know why I'm not driving well. I'm not in my favorite view. Oh. That's the problem. Great, glad I have an excuse. Am I making up time? You can see the leaders up there. On You're the, making the up more corner. time than you were before. Yeah. Because I haven't, much. you know why? Because I haven't recently hit a river. Yay! <laughs> Good for you. That's when you rate your driving progress by how recently you hit a body of water. <laughs> That's when you know you're, have, you're in some trouble. There's another bus stop. That one I'll leave standing. <laughs> Pretty sure it's impossible to hit a goat in this game. Like really? Even there are goats in the map, it's are impossible there? to hit a goat. Oh! That fence has seen better days. Imagine we made this, like, imagine we made the Goliath in real life. Wow. We need, like, a massive amount of land. And then drove the cycle car through it. <laughs> we could have Goliath races. We could invite all, all the cycle car people. Oh. And, oh, he managed to hold it. Good for me. With some practice, it does get better. Yeah. Yeah, the other guys are almost at the finish line already. Yeah. I'm not going to catch the pack, I don't think. Hopefully you get a sub-14 minute here. <laughs> yeah. And by the tone of your voice, I'm, I'm uh, to understand that that's not a good time. No. No. Right there. There we go. Nope. 14-15. Okay, well, hey, what are you going to do? What did the leader get? 1343. practice. Okay. Maserati. There were a couple... 30 seconds behind the leader. A couple of auto unions. Right. A couple of alphas. Napier. Napier Ooh, Railton. Napier Railton. That's a moldy oldie. That must have been the British ones. Yep. Three W154s. Yeah. Very cool, man. I think we end the video right there. Sure. What do you think? Okay. So if you enjoyed that, I did. I really like that. I think I'm going to sit here now for another two hours and just drive the Vulture virtually. <laughs> if you enjoyed that, subscribe. 
to the channel and hit the bell because they tell me that hitting the bell is good for us. I don't know if it is. I'm not entirely sure why, but apparently it is. So if you like this channel, uh, do it, hit the bell. And also check out our uh, online store. We are raising money for the Jumpstart charity and we are uh, selling some cycle cart merch up there and everything we raise, uh, every, all profits, let me see how I can phrase this right, all profits from now until June 7th, the day before the Elmer's Grand Prix, will go to the Jumpstart charity. So check that out, there's a link in the comments. And that's it. Uh, go check out my channel, link in the description. Exactly. Next channel is, what is it called? KSN Sports. KSN Sports. Link is Sports. going to be in the description so you can find it easier. So check that out. See ya. See ya. See you later.